Hello, welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning into this video. Today I want to do a quick little video with this new Chanel Fleur de Printemps Blush and Highlight Duo. This just came out for the Chanel 2021 Spring Collection. Here it is and it just arrived at my door so I really wanted to test this out and get a video up on it because I just think it's so beautiful and I've been eagerly awaiting its arrival. Today I wanted to do a more monochromatic look and use this in as many ways as possible. So in addition to using it on my cheeks, I used it on my eyes. So I will show you how I did this whole look using this palette and a couple of other products that I threw in there to tie everything together. I'd like to actually get started with the eyes before we move on to the cheeks. And I want to use this palette on the eyes too. So I'm going to take this uh, Jumbo Blender, Sonia G, and I'm gonna go in and pick this cat hair off of the palette and into this darker color here. I'm just gonna throw it all over the lid. I'm not going for a very intense eye look here, but I really just want to get that kind of monochromatic effect by putting these blush colors on the lid as well as the cheeks. It's hopefully a nice sort of soft monochromatic look. Now taking the mini booster in that same shade just to get it a little bit better on the lower part of my eyelid here and then blending up. And I don't want to have too angled of a shape, so I'm going up into this area too. Just making sure that the color is going up there as well. Now I want to take this little Refer 03 brush and still in that darker shade. I'm going to pull that along the lower lash line. I chose this brush because it's very small and it's quite densely packed. It's a little pencil brush. So it's gonna give me enough of a color impact, even with this sort of more sheer blush tone. But it's not gonna pull it down too far. What I want to do now is with this uh, soft shader brush, going into that lighter shade, and I'm gonna focus that more over the this part of the lid here. And I'd like to pull the lighter shade into the inner corner as well. drawing it slightly through the inner part of the lower lash line as well. I'm not going to get into wetting it, these or anything today, but I think you could get a bit more of a shine impact if you're going to use them on your eyes if you wet them as well. But for now, I'm happy with this sort of soft look. Now, when you're using these sort of red and pink tones on the eyes, I think it is important to ground these colors a little bit and give you, yourself a little bit of definition on the eyes. What I want to do is use this uh, Bordeaux shade from Victoria Beckham, and I'm gonna use that as a liner above the lash line. And then I'm going to take either a black or a brown and do my upper water line, and then I will be back to show you what that looks like. So the eyes are finished. I just did what I said and with the uh, Bordeaux liner and I put a black liner on the uh, upper water line there and I put some mascara on too. Um, and now I think it's time to move on to the cheeks, which is really, I think, the most important part of this. I'm going to start with this um, sort of deeper shade. And I think that Chanel describes this shade as a coral, and I would agree with that assessment. It's a uh, red-toned coral. 
and I think it's really beautiful for spring. So you can see it's going on quite easily using this Sonia G, what is this, um, classic face. I always forget the name of this brush. Uh, it's from the Kiyaki set and it's become one of my favorites for blush because it, I find it picks up uh, most blush textures really nicely, including ones that feel more baked, like this one feels a bit more baked. I'm not sure if it is. It sort of feels in between a baked and a traditional powder, but it is a bit harder um, and it's not very creamy feeling. So that's what makes me think that it might be a baked formula. So you can see this color really livens up the face and that looks even better in person. You can really see the full impact of the color, but it's a, it's a gorgeous shade. Okay, and now I'm going to go into the mini cheek from Sonia G and we'll take that lighter shade. Now this is meant to be the highlight shade. Obviously on me, it's not really light enough to be a true highlight, but I'm going to apply it sort of as though it were a highlight. And I think what we're going to end up with is uh, more of a sort of blush draping kind of look, which I am fine with, especially with these tones. I think they really lend themselves to um, that kind of a draped blush effect. Okay, yeah, you, and I don't know if you can see it as well, but I can see that I'm getting more of a sort of pop of color with this, uh, with this lighter shade. In the highlighting areas. I'm going to put it on my brow bone as well again just to kind of tie in that monochromatic look and and that uh, draping effect. In the future I'd like to try these shades uh, separately and you know see what this one looks like on its own as a blush as well. But for today I think it's good to just get the full effect of the palette all together. What I'd also like to do is again with this um, classic crease from Sonia G, go into the lighter shade and even blend out that uh, just around the edges of that eyeshadow a little bit more, with the lighter shade. And I'll do it on the lower lash line as well with um, the mini booster here. The lipstick shade I sh chose here was Sexy Sienna, which is a Charlotte Tilbury matte lipstick. And I thought this shade would just be really perfect with this palette. If you look at them together, I think it, it matches this darker shade really nicely. I'll just pat a little bit extra of that on. And this is the finished look with the Chanel Fleur de Printemps blush and highlight duo. So I will probably be doing some more videos where I'm gonna use this palette, um, but today I just wanted to give my first impressions and I was honestly really just excited to get this on my face. I wanted to do a couple of comparison swatches here. So I'm gonna swatch this palette first. So we have, there's the darker shade, there's the lighter shade. And I wanted to compare it to a couple of other Chanel products that I have. This is the Chen de Chanel um, holiday blush that came out for 2020. I got this on sale after the holidays, so that was very exciting. But I thought it's sort of a similar uh, formula to the newer palette. And the shade, I just wanted to see how this would compare to particularly the deeper shade. In case people were curious. So there's... That's the holiday one and that's the spring one. Obviously you can see the difference. The holiday or the uh, spring one is much more vibrant and has more uh, coral in it. Whereas the holiday one is a little bit more toned down and actually next to the spring one, it looks like it almost has some brown tones in it. So it's a bit more of a natural, um, well, I suppose it depends on your skin tone, but it's a bit more of a sort of neutral tone. The other one that I wanted to compare was this Eclat du Désert, 
which it was um, a highlighter that came out. I can't remember when it came out. It's been out for a while though. And this also I was able to get on sale. So I just wanted to compare that to the lighter tone. Uh, this is more of a traditional powder formula as opposed to the um, other ones, which I think are more baked. Although this one, it's it's quite dry as well, but I think it's, again, I think it's a different type of formula. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it's much more sheer, so you can kind of see it there. I'm going to try to build it up a little bit more in the swatch here. Okay, it's kind of messy, but you can see it a bit better. So actually the tones are not all that different in terms of the undertones of the two powders, but this one is obviously quite a bit darker and gives you more of an initial impact, whereas this one would take a, quite a bit of building in order to get it to even the um, pigment intensity that you're seeing here in the swatch. But you can see when I blend out that spring one a little bit more that they are looking a bit more similar to each other there, but they are different. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you if you're considering this palette or interesting if you're just, you know, have an eye on the palette and are curious to see what it looks like. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. If you'd like to see more from me, I'd love for you to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.